June DeBang of New Providence, New Jersey, and Jerry Palomar of Manila in the Philippines are connected by two things. One is the net of global commerce woven by ships like Palomar's Sun Road. The other is the Christmas at Sea program, knitted together by people like DeBang who spend the year making hats and scarves and other items to thank seafarers for their work. The program is run by the Episcopal Church-affiliated Siemens Church Institute. As we drove in today, we passed many, many uh, containers, all marked, you know, as having come from China and Singapore and Vietnam. The Sun Roads route is a good example. Palomar says when the ship leaves New York, it will sail through the Panama Canal to Los Angeles and Oakland, across the Pacific to Japan and China, and back through the canal with stops in Charleston and Norfolk before returning to New York. Two months, two months, every two months. So that is our life. That life can be lonely, especially this time of year, and that's where Christmas at Sea comes in. Christmas at Sea started 114 years ago during the Spanish-American War, um, and it was spearheaded by the wife of the executive director of Siemens Church at the time. I have volunteer knitters from around the country. Uh, I think a rough estimate is about 4,300 to 4,500 knitters representing all 50 states. Those knitters make for me last year over 19,000 hand knits. Um, we make hats and scarves, vests, socks and slippers and helmets that sort of go over the head and cover the neck as well. We package those up um, in pairs and in sets and we distribute between 16 and 17,000 gifts between Port Newark the Port of Oakland and along the Mississippi River. To those hand-knit items, volunteer packers add a few additional donated toiletries and candies, a prayer card, and a Christmas card. Siemens Church Institute chaplains go aboard ships to deliver the gifts. For anyone who celebrates Christmas, Sato says, the importance of seafarers is obvious. We're with our families and we have trees that are decorated and full of you know, gifts underneath that came on ships. Merry Christmas. For Episcopal News Service, I'm Mary Frances Schoenberg.